On day four of our Winnebago workshop trip, we were lucky enough to have John and Sarah Green as our visiting artists. After a quick meet and greet, they took us to a beach along Lake Michigan, which is where this video is being shot. Sarah gave us an assignment, which was to take a single shot somewhere around the park and add a voice over to the video. I thought the assignment was a great chance to reflect on some of the aspects of this trip that have been running through my head. This trip is moving at an extremely fast pace, and I don't feel like I have had a proper chance to give solid thought to where any of this is taking me and how I ended up here. One thing that we do on the road is look for reoccurring themes. They tend to be simple objects or images like horseshoes or fireflies that somehow pop up along the way in all different places as we travel. As the trip ramps up, I have had my own set of themes that have resurfaced from time to time. Finding myself in the middle of my teenage years, I have begun to ask more questions about what my future holds and what aspects of my life I have control over. These are questions I have no easy answer to. What do I take from major experiences like these? Out of all the creative and successful people I have met, what guided them to their current point in life? Am I even aware of how much control I have over my life? Before the trip, I tended to dismiss these questions as teen angst and existential thoughts that young people have until they find their way. But as I thought about these questions more and more and listened to many of the visiting artists discuss them, I've begun to stop pushing them away and seeing them as necessary thoughts to give energy to. While I have in no way begun to find answers, I listen more closely to the little snippets of sage advice and lessons that have been given to us during the trip. I chose this shot to dissect the saying, life is a beach. So yeah, the quote is a rework of a cruder and more pessimistic quote, but I think the alteration holds truer, because at the core, life is a beach. Sure, yeah, maybe the beach is constantly under construction, and, it kind, of, and kind of crowded at times, and maybe the beach is actually in Michigan, so it's kind of cold a lot. But that's no reason not to dip your toes in, because if it feels nice, you might as well go for a swim. I know this analogy sounds like it couldn't be more cliche, but life is both chaotic and good. It doesn't have to be one or the other. We can still appreciate the things that we can't make sense of. It's probably a good thing my life's path isn't set in stone. I mean, set futures simply don't exist. But what we need to get rid of is this mindset that success always needs to come from careful planning and predictions. When John Green was talking to us about his own unpredictable journey, he said something that really stuck with me. You don't know where you're going while you're going there.